Being known as two talented players from different generations, Jude Bellingham and Neymar Jr. are two football stars who draw crowds of fans for their genius on the pitch. But have you ever wondered which of them has the greater expertise in each skill? In this video, you will see a fierce battle between Neymar and Jude Bellingham. So, let's get to the fight. Passing Everyone knows that the two football stars are exceptional players, but who has the best passing ability? Jude Bellingham, for example, has the passing ability as one of his most notable characteristics. With impressive accuracy and vision, he demonstrates the ability to distribute the ball effectively, whether making short passes or taking longer throws. According to data from the Champions League 2023, Jude made 281 passes in seven games with an accuracy of 83%, a great average of 40 completed passes per game. Neymar Jr., on the other hand, is recognized as one of the best passers in the world, with an exceptional ability to make precise passes regardless of the situation, contributing to his team's success. He has a very sharp vision of the game, which allows him to quickly identify the best passing options and find his teammates in good positions to finish. Neymar also passes with several pots of his foot, which greatly increases his passing options during the game. According to the Champions League 2023 statistics, the Brazilian made 315 passes in six games with an accuracy of 83.3%, which represents an average of 52 passes per game with good accuracy. In other words, we can say that in this regard, Neymar Jr. easily wins this round. Dribbles Both football stars are known for their exceptional skills, but which one excels more at dribbling? Jude Bellingham, for example, has the confidence to control the ball and perform unpredictable dribbles. He displays his skill even in tight spaces, being able to outwit his opponents even under pressure. One of the techniques Jude used was the cut dribble, in which he cut the ball and changes direction quickly. The Englishman also doesn't skimp on his creative dribbling, which leaves opponents stunned and fans energized. Neymar Jr., on the other hand, has a vast repertoire of spectacular moves and dribbles, which he uses masterfully during matches, making him a true football showman on the pitch. One of his most used dribbles is the nutmeg, a dribble in which he passes the ball between his opponent's legs. One of his most daring dribbles is the rainbow flick, a technique in which he passes the ball over his opponent's head. As well as these spectacular dribbles, Neymar Jr. is also known for his ability to dribble at speed, using quick changes of direction to outpace defenders. The Brazilian has dribbling as one of his most outstanding skills and is considered one of the best in the game today. And although dribbling ability is subjective, we can say that Neymar easily wins this round. Endurance In terms of physical endurance, both players have always been good, but who can move more during matches? Neymar Jr., for example, is a player who has good physical stamina, managing to move around a lot throughout the game. He is able to make sudden changes of direction without losing his breath, demonstrating excellent physical endurance on the pitch. Based on his average distance traveled in the 2023 Champions League, Neymar covered 61.3 kilometers in just six games, which is an average of 10.2 kilometers per game, showing that he moves well during the game. Jude Bellingham, meanwhile, is one of the youngest and most energetic players on the pitch in recent times. At just 20 years old and with an athletic physique, Jude has long-lasting and constant physical endurance, which allows him to cover great distances during matches. He shows great ability to maintain high intensity in defensive or offensive roles, making him a valuable asset to the team. According to data from the 2023 Champion League, Jude covered 76.8 kilometers in seven games, an average of almost 11 kilometers per game. And for having such excellent stamina on the pitch, Jude wins this round. Assists Both players are known for being collaborative on the pitch, but who has the better ability to provide assists? Jude Bellingham, for example, is a midfielder who participates in team play. One of Bellingham's main assisting skills is his incredible vision of the game, being able to see plays developing before they even happen, which allows him to make precise and strategic decisions. Throughout his career, Jude has made 33 assists in 223 official games, an average of almost 15 assists every 100 games. Neymar Jr., on the other hand, is a player with exceptional vision, capable of identifying spaces and finding teammates in favorable positions. 
Neymar's creativity also stands out when it comes to creating assists, making unexpected passes, and brilliant plays. Throughout his career, some sources estimate that the Brazilian has recorded around 195 assists in just 597 games played, which represents an average of 32 assists every 100 games. Neymar is still the best. Speed Both football stars are very agile players on the pitch, but who can reach the highest speed? Neymar Jr., for example, is also a very unpredictable and versatile player who uses his speed and agility to dribble past opposing defenders. His speed is fundamental to his dribbling style, which allows him to change direction and leave defenders behind. According to Champions League 2023 estimates, Neymar's top speed was 31.9 km per hour, a common speed for a player of his technical level. Jude Bellingham, for example, is a young athlete who has plenty of energy and agility on the pitch, both in attack and defense. His ability to accelerate is an asset when it comes to breaking through defensive lines and creating goal-scoring opportunities for his team. Jude often uses his dexterity to steal the ball and set off on a counter-attack, catching the opposition defense off guard. According to data from the 2023 Champions League, the Englishman managed to reach a top speed of 33.1 km per hour. Since Jude can reach higher speeds, points to him. Strength in terms of physical strength, the two players have similar body characteristics, but who is the stronger? Neymar Jr., for example, is a player best known for his agility and skill, whose physical strength is not one of his best characteristics. He has a lighter physique, weighing only 150 pounds and standing at around 5 feet 9 inches tall. Neymar's lack of physical strength has made him a player known for falling over easily, which has made him the target of much criticism. Although he has improved somewhat in this area in recent years, it still hasn't been enough. Jude Bellingham, on the other hand, has an athletic physique, standing at 6 feet 1 inch tall and weighing 165 pounds. Being of above average height, Jude uses his imposing build to challenge opponents in ball fights, even if his opponents are stronger and heavier. And because Jude Bellingham has a slightly more imposing physique, he wins this round. Shots and Goals both football icons are excellent finishers, but who has the better goal conversion rate? Jude Bellingham, for example, although he doesn't play the role of a striker, shows excellent accuracy in his finishing. The Englishman fulfills his role of creating play for his teammates very well, but when unmissable chances arise, he doesn't hesitate to shoot at goal. One of the contributions Bellingham makes to goals is through his medium and long-range shots, leaving the goalkeeper stunned by the unexpected powerful shot. With a career on the rise, Jude has so far scored 40 goals in 223 games, an average of 18 goals in 100 games, considered a reasonable figure for a midfielder. Neymar Jr., for his part, is a creative player with a varied repertoire, capable of scoring goals from many different positions and angles, raising the level of the game with his impeccable technique. The Brazilian is also very creative when it comes to finishing, often opting for dribbles rather than direct shots on goal. Neymar also stands out for his powerful shooting, allowing him to take placed shots and excellent free kicks, impressing everyone with his unique ability on the pitch. He also manages to keep his cool in pressurized situations, making him an effective finisher at the most decisive moments. According to some sources specializing in the subject, it is estimated that Neymar has already scored around 373 goals in 597 games, which represents an average of 62 goals every 100 games. As Neymar is a better performer, point to him. Awards Both footballing idols are very prominent on the pitch, but which of them has more significant achievements? Jude Bellingham, for example, has a very recent career but is a great promise to the sport's new generation. Playing for Bo Russia Dortmund, the Englishman won the eSports FIFA 23 Toti and the 2020 German FACA. Individually, Bellingham was named DFL Young Player of the Year in 2019 and Bundesliga Player of the Year in 2022, among other awards. Neymar Jr., on the other hand, has won important awards for the teams he has played for, such as a Copa Libertadores, a Champions League and a FIFA Club World Cup. For the Brazilian national team, he has won an Olympic gold medal and a Confederations Cup. He has also been nominated for the FIFA Ballon d'Or a few times, coming third on two occasions. For having more significant individual achievements, Neymar wins this round. Market Value 
Both football tycoons are highly coveted, but which one is the most valuable and in demand by clubs? Jude Bellingham, for example, is currently one of the most coveted and expensive names in football. His move from Borussia Dortmund to Real Madrid in 2023 represented the Spanish side's second most expensive acquisition for a whopping 103 million euros, second only to his colleague Vinicius Jr. The six-year contract includes an estimated annual salary of 20 million euros, totaling 120 million euros over the period. Not bad for a player as young as Bellingham, is it? Neymar Jr., on the other hand, is one of the players who stands out in this respect. When he played for Paris Saint-Germain, the Brazilian earned around $53 million a year in salary alone. When you add that huge salary to his advertising income, his earnings are even higher. And it's no wonder that in 2020 Forbes estimated that he earned around $96 million a year, placing him fourth in the select list of the world's highest paid athletes. Currently, at Al Hilo, he will be one of the highest paid players in the world, earning an annual salary of 200 million euros. As for his market value, Neymar is the player with the biggest transfer in history, with a value of 222 million euros to play for PSG. In other words, there's no doubt that Neymar is considered to be the most in-demand player of the two. At the end of the battle, we had three points for Jude Bellingham against six points for Neymar, making him the winner. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below.